Hi everyone and welcome to this video demonstration on Soka, a chickpea crepe from Nice, France. It's naturally gluten-free, vegan, and conveniently tasty. I'm Jenna Edwards, your cooking companion, and join my newsletter list for more videos like this. Soka is street food, meant to be snacked on while strolling through the flower market or down a cobblestone street. It's really wonderful in a brick oven, so your version and your home oven will be different, but it's still worth having around. I'm showing three approaches to Soka. A thick batter to attempt a pancake-like consistency using less water. Regular batter using a one-to-one -one ratio of water to flour and a thin batter using a touch more water than the regular batter. Here's a photo of my Soka when I visited Nice. It's ever so slightly charred on the outside edge. It's got body, but it's not dry or crumbly. It is oily, so I assume that contributes a lot to the texture. So here we go. Mix together chickpea flour, salt, cumin, olive oil, and water. Mix well and let it sit for two hours. This is a recommendation of food blogger David Leibovitz. Turn on your broiler to high and oil your pans. Cast iron is strongly recommended, but aluminum would work fine too. Get the oil even and place the pan in the broiler. Once your broiler and pans are piping hot, remove the pans and pour in the batter. You can see here with mine that the regular batter is already cooking in the hot skillet and it spreads relatively easy in the pan. Here's the thick batter. I'm already doubting it'll turn out right. And here's the thin batter. It's very crepe-like. The pans will return to the broiler basically to cook the top of the crepe. Most of us don't use our broiler that often, so we aren't familiar with how it performs. For instance, here I'm checking on my soca and it doesn't look ready because it should have more charring on the edges and the top. However, here they are out of the skillets, very charred and overcooked. They are dry, and my thin crepe is downright crispy. Now the flavor is still there, and they are very edible. But in this condition, I prefer to use it like a cornbread and sop up something juicy. So I'll try again with my remaining batter. I've both decreased the heat in the broiler and removed the pans earlier. Now here's how my second batch came out. Much, much closer to the intended consistency. There's body there. They can hold their own weight, but they aren't crispy or dry. You can play with adding other spices or herbs to make this your own, or keep it simple with salt and pepper and a chili glass of rosé. Alright guys, remember to register for my email newsletter for more videos and eventually free stuff. That's it for this video demonstration of Soka. I'm Jenna Edwards, your cooking companion, and thanks for watching.